I saw once a plague strike northern lands of ice. It was so terrible that not the oldest man among us could remember the like. Hundreds died. The sickness took nearly every person younger than forty and many older, and where dying mothers gave birth, the marks of the plague were on the babes as they came out of the womb. Where are we? I don't like it. This place feels... What is this place? Like the old warrior trials. Dillian will help me. Bodies piled up. No one was laughing. And they knew that she was not like that. The water is foul. It's thick. It's foul. Thank you. 
The Northmen speak of a death moon, a light shaped like a half moon that appears inside a house and goes around the walls. I once saw the death moon appear at a farm, and first the shepherd died, then a guest died, and then the farm hands, and then the farmer and six of his men drowned at sea. But that is not the end of it, because the dead return to haunt the living. If you see the death moon, then beware because there will be death in that house. Come to me. Where are you? I'm here. I'm right here. Are you in there? Come out if you are. Where is he? Find him. You have to find him. The runes. Focus. Focus on the runes. What's that sound? Delia!
Shano, what happened? They're blaming me for the plague. They say that I'm cursed. What if they're right? How would they know such a thing? Are they gods? None of us are. They're just people. Good people, but they're scared. They're afraid of what they can't see. Like children scared of the dark. They make up stories to fill the void. It doesn't make no trouble. What if my father was right? You have to step out of this darkness. Let them see who you really are like I am. You're not a monster. Without you, this darkness has made me a monster. You've done it. You did it. The warrior trials. You need this. Go get the sword. With grammar reforged, you will have Odin's blessing to walk a goddess into the halls of Helheim and challenge Hela as an equal. So Dillion was helping me. And a sword will lead me to him. Like when we first met. Dillian gave her the strength to pass the warrior trials, and she saw a way out. To leave her past behind, and become a warrior in Dillian's clan. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The sword is tainted by the gods of darkness. Leave it. No. He left it here. He wants me to take it. You will pay a price for this. Years later, with Zinbel's parting words still haunting her, the darkness came back with a vengeance. A plague. Don't you? Everyone suffered. My father was not supposed to die like this. This is your fault. <laughs> you brought this plague to us! <laughs> you have blood on your hands! They're coming for you now. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Hold it! Hold the heavy strike! Hold it! Hold it! Hold, 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 hold your hands! Unleash the sword! She can't remember. She can't remember. Focus.
corpses. The corpse waved through itself over the ones I loved. The ship broke up under them. The ship that had sailed from the land of shining fields. Their memorial stone is sacred. Come not here in the sun. Come not with a sword. Come not crying over a naked corpse. Come not with disturbed mind. Suffering, Senua. Does your precious gift of sight let you see the souls that rot here in this sea of corpses? Jack, do you feel the blood running cold on your skin? Do you hear their endless cries? Do you smell their putrid wounds? Everyone's brothers, sisters, and loved ones. And look at what you have done to them. All because you were a coward, because you banned from your curse instead of facing it. When you turned your back on your father, Zimbo, you turned your back on the gods and let the darkness wreak havoc on your people. Why must they pay for your heresy?
enemies down. Finish it. Finish it. Strike him. Why do you still fight on? Maybe you two should suffer with your brethren in this lot and let your blood seep into the seas and the rivers of hell. Isn't that what you deserve after all you've done? Give the darkness what it wants, let it swallow your soul and destroy all that you are. Why are you fighting for someone who is already dead? Just look around you. What hope is there for him, even if his soul could be rescued? Do you think he would thank you for what you have done to him, to his friends, to his father? <laughs> You're both dead. You both surrendered to the voices. The darkness has taken you. Galena and Senwa. Galena and Senwa. You are lost. There's nothing you can do. You're dead. You're both dead. Mother and daughter dead in the sea of corpses. it anymore. Not on my own. Where are you, mother? I want to be with you. That night, she gave up on her world to follow in the footsteps of her mother. To go to a place where the darkness couldn't reach her. Senua. Look at me. Do you hear them? They're calling for me. We've lost so many. And I've lost my father. I can't lose you. You said it. I have blood on my hands. I didn't say that. You've done nothing wrong. Zimbal was right. Everyone will suffer. Zimbal is a fake. He is a hateful, bitter liar. He's poison. And his words still haunt you. Who do you trust? Him? Or me? Do you still believe in me, Senua? In us? Come back to me. Please. Don't let this darkness come between us. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. He gave her the sword with which to fight in more ways than one. She gave him her word, never to surrender. All she needed was a little help. A little hope.
Into the mountain. Can you see it? Shall we tell her where to go? It's not far. Go on. Look up. Just up there. Listen to her. That's it. Shall we tell her where to go? Shall we? Does she know which way to look? Does she know her way into the mountain? She's a good girl. Oh, isn't she? I will tell you of a great hero named Sigurd, son of Sigmund, no less. Born after his father's death, Sigurd is cared for by the dwarf, Rain. But Rain does not love the boy. Instead, he plans to use him for his own ends. You see, Rain's father possessed a great treasure given to him by the gods. But Rain's brother, Fafnir, killed his father and took the gold all for himself. Fafner hid the treasure out on a heath and could not leave it. And from the evil in his heart, he turned into a dark creature. A dragon. She can feel it. No. Don't open the door. Don't go in. Don't turn back. Don't turn back. What's it? Get back. A great beast guards Helheim. Garm is its name. And it knows you are here, Senua. It can smell your stink. What are you afraid of, Senua? How will you save Dillion if you are too much of a coward to step into the shadow? They can't stop me. Then do it. The beast is stalking you from the shadows. Your sword is useless here. to do. Your father wants them to go away, and he only hurts me to silence them. But he's gone now. They always come back. 
He says I will die if I go with them. They say that I'm already dead. No, and that they please. want me with them. Stop! That's why they crawl through the walls. Don't Do you them. see them? Do you see their faces? He's coming! Senor! Help me! Help! Get me out of here! Don't go! Where has she gone? She's disappeared again. She shouldn't be here. She escaped the darkness. She, she took her own life to escape it. She can't remember when it started. When her mother lost her smile. Her eyes gazing past her towards a world she could not see. This is what happens if you reach for the underworld, he said. It was a lot to take in for a child. And the first time she felt the cold chill of fear. I don't talk much about her father, Zinbel. I suppose I just didn't want to risk upsetting her. But it doesn't matter now, does it?
Rian the Dwarf's sole desire is to possess this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rian would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still has the pieces. And so Rian reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rian go in search of Fafnir. She could see them. Her father, Zenbel, could see the monster in her. Anywhere without your light, take the torch and move. 
She escaped the darkness, that she's with the gods. But what if they lied? What if the darkness took her and trapped her here? Father's keeping me away from the others. Away from Tilly. I won't give up. I'm not going to rot in here. I'm going to find doing. We are your guys.
Satchel. <laughs> 